Hey YouTube, it's Badger Bug Out, and today we're going to be talking about a tactical knife made for and used by active duty special operations military. Stay tuned. Hey YouTube, it's Budget Bug Out. Coming at you from a very damp Korea at the moment. Um, and in this video, as you can see from the title as well as my intro, I'm going to be talking about the First Edge knife that I received from SHOT Show uh, at the First Edge booth. Um, Seem like very nice guys. Um, however, there are a couple of cons that I want to mention about this, uh, about this product. And, I want, to, I want to know what you guys think and if I should re review more First Edge products going forward. Other gear reviewers I know are just like, ah, there's another company you're, you're saying stuff about. And it's, it's not that I'm anti certain companies, but I've had Through Night fail on me, I've had Shrades fail on me, uh, and now I've had a, those are budget friendly companies. This is the first premium company that has, has you know, sent me something to review that has failed on me. This knife is, the MSRP is $275 um, and that's actually the, the cheapest variant of this because it's the manual action instead of the, they have like a, a, an assisted open, um, like two other variants of, of this that are more expensive. Um, and they both, they all use the same steel as well as their fixed blade knives, they all use the same steel. Um, the, the LMAX steel and so I'm, I'm kind of disappointed that with very light testing in my opinion this this the, the tip broke off so I'll just dive right in and start talking about it so I was uh, just kind of piercing through the different boxes it was just, this was a tanto point um, which is ideal for piercing and it's designed so you can pierce through body armor so I figured Hardware boxes, no problem, and it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't an issue, right? Uh, anything can pierce through a cardboard box, to be honest. Um, and then I moved on to damp, as you can see from the weather, uh, pallets that were just laying outdoors, and they've been outdoors for who knows how long. Um, and I just started, you know, puncturing, piercing uh, the different pallets, and uh, just kind of going down the line, and it was performing, I thought, uh, really well. And then. Uh, one of the times, and this is why I wear gloves, just in case something fails on me, um, the access, uh, I'm sorry, the, uh, the, the, the lock didn't fail, but the tip, as you can obviously see, uh, snapped off and it remained in the pallet. So I thought that was surprising from a knife that was so expensive. And this is something that I was already kind of worried about and I was going to mention to y'all, is the warranty for these knives. Uh, the way that it reads anyways is not all that friendly. Um, it basically says that if you were using the knife as it was intended to be used, which I'm not sure what that is, it's a tactical knife. Um, they sell tactical knives and survival knives. What, how are they supposed to be in, used? Um, basically, if it use it the way, the right way, the way they say to use it, then it'll be covered by warranty. But if you hard use it or misuse it or abuse it or whatever, and I'll and I'll put all that stuff um, in the description box or, or annotate it. Um, warranty won't cover this, like not at all. There's no if, ands, or but about it. If they think that you used, misused the knife, which probably I did, um, just did some light testing to see if it was a good tactical knife, um, warranty's not going to cover it. Now I don't know for sure because I didn't get a card from these guys at, uh, at, from First Edge, so I'm just going to go through the normal warranty program to see if they'd send me a replacement. I don't want to go through the I'm a gear reviewer can you send me out another demo product? I actually want to see how the warranty works on this and I'll give you an update and I'll also um, update this video too so stay tuned for that. But um, I think as a knife, as a person, someone who's into knives, I think the reason why this failed, and this isn't the only drawback for the knife, um, I'll, I'll get to more what I believe are cons, um, is because the Rockwell hardness is so high that, just, just as you guys know, glasses, uh, glass, right? shatter you know for windows um, that rock wall hardness is is higher is harder right um, than these uh, the, the knives right and the reason why it but they're brittle right glass is much more brittle and the same goes with knives but 
LMAX steel is supposed to be a really good steel. I even know it's, um, it maintains its edge really sharp, <laughs> other than other than whatever breaks. Um, the, the edge retention's really good on this, and, and it and it was, um, and it is, it still is that the edge that's left. But I think because the Rockwell hardness is so high, um, that this knife failed. And uh, another drawback is that these um, thumb studs are so long; they, they stick out so far. Uh, whenever I pull them out of my pocket, it actually it catches on the lining. And that happens with jeans, I've noticed. It, it happens with my uniform. Um, I'm in the military, if you, don't, if you can't already tell. And then it also happens with my tactical pants, as you can see from, from this footage that I just shot. Um, so those are, the, those are the major cons for this knife. Um, the potential warranty issues, the, the durability of it. Um, and then its use in everyday carry rules. So everyday carry and tactical, it doesn't, it has some pretty big drawbacks. Um, the things I do like about this knife though, is the open uh, barrel construction. It makes it really easy to clean. Um, the, it's supposed to be able to withstand, um, you know, bearing down. Um, the, the lock on this is supposed to be really strong. Um, it's made in the USA. Um, but because G10 handles very grippy, I mean, I was using this with, with, with gloves and I mean, it, I didn't have any issues of my, my hand slipping or anything like that. Um, and then the, the pocket clip, I really like the pocket clip on that. It goes in and out of the pocket really easily. So credit where credit's due. I'm not trying to slam this company, but um, I just wasn't uh, impressed with its hard use. You know, I, and I wouldn't even say it's hard use. I'd say like it's medium use. Uh, uh, tests that I put this through, as well as the everyday carry uh, drawbacks of this catching on the pocket as you're pulling it out. Now they also make um, fixed blade knives uh, as well, and those are thicker, so maybe the, there's not an issue with those, but um, I'm sorry the screen's getting a little uh, little wet. I, like I said, it, the, it's very damp right now, the damp weather, it's not going to get any better, so sorry. Um, but. I'm just, I'm just a little bit disappointed with this and I can't say as of right now that I recommend this product, which is kind of disappointing because I talked about this as being one of the top five knives that I was looking forward to uh, this year in, my, in my, my top five knife video and I'll put that in the description box. I think it was one of the last videos that I did. Um, but anyways guys, let me know what you think. Like I said, I'll put more information in the description box. I'll answer any questions you have in the comment section down below. And, uh, and we'll go from there. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Y'all stay safe out there. And remember, it pays to be prepared. God bless. Hey YouTube, it's Budget Bug Out. And I hope you don't mind that I'm shooting this video in sort of like a blog, first person perspective format.